Okay, so logarithms. Okay, who have learned a little bit of this already in school or all haven't learned? Who hear anything about log before? Raise your hand. Like in your actual class, haven't learned. Okay, sounds like haven't. So we are the first, okay? So I'm, I prefer that y'all learn it with me properly lah, because if you go and catch some, you miss a little bit, lah, the whole chapter feels impossible to do. But opposite is true. If you learn it properly, it becomes easy. So let's look at a bit of revision. Uh, to be, in, before we introduce log, we must revise what is index form, which we learn. Uh, index actually is indices. Ma. So some of you who, if you didn't know, is the same as indices. We learned indices already two chapters ago. Either in EMAF or AMAF, we all learn indices already. What is an index form? Is any positive number that can, that can be written in an index form. Index form basically means got power. So can I write 10 in index form? I can. Because 10 is just one, 10 raised to the first power. I mean, this one looks common sense to us. Like, how come we in, in, invent the index form is to don't write so many zeros? Basically, the essence is I don't want to write so many zeros, right? A bit lazy. So if I got 100, we already know we can easily write it as 10 squared. Okay, not that we want to do an extra mental sum. How come we want to write 100 right hand square? Because 100 is still two zero, ma. What if I got four zeros? You know, when you have four zeros, it's actually more convenient now to write 10 to the four. Right? What if you have you can go, what if you have 20 zero? I don't want to write 20 times. You get my point. So if I have a big number, like if I counting how many stars in the galaxy. If I'm dealing with extremely large numbers, it actually makes more sense. Maybe 25. Uh, to write things in index form. This one, I think is quite logical. It's quite logical that we prefer index form when the number gets too big or too small. The first few, you don't feel anything. The first few, you feel like, hey, a bit lame, right? But when the number becomes too huge, if I've got 25 zeros, I'm sure you don't want to write 25 zeros. Nobody wants to write 25 zeros, right? So same thing. If it becomes very small, this is not very small. 0 0.01, which you should already know is 10 to the negative 2. It's not super small, but we are starting to see why we need index form. Because when I got 7 decimal places, if I got 7 zeros, then I hope you all prefer to write 10 to the negative 7. This is easy, right? This, this is easy and not just should it be easy, uh, it should make sense to you. It should make sense to you that we all should prefer index form. In certain, not, not all the time, in certain times. That's why when you learn standard form, it's the same thing, ma, right? If the distance from Earth to Sun is very big, or you learn chemistry already, I haven't, haven't, haven't. Next, next chapter, sorry, too soon. Anyway, we need index form for this reason. So, what about log form? So, index form was chapter two or three, lah. Log form is right now. We're learning logarithms. So you must start to see a parallel. So in my example, uh, okay, I know this is a lot of weirdness. Don't worry about it first. Uh, don't worry about it first. Understand the logic first. So I can convert index form into log form for the same reason. I'm paying attention to how big, how many zeros there are. Right? So see. I can convert index form to log form so that I, in, I focus on the index. What are the index? My first, first row example, my index is 1, 2, 4, negative 2, and negative 7. Right? Those are the index. These numbers start to matter when we are when you're going very, very big. Right? When we're doing small, like you know, if I got $5, you got $8. 5 and 8 does matter. Lah. My 5 and your 8 is it, it's, it's world apart. Lah. But what if I got, I don't know. If I got 70 trillion and you got 6 billion, when the numbers are so big, uh, we are comparing the billion range and the trillion range. We actually don't care about the actual number. We don't care about the first digit. We care about how many zeros are at the back. Ma. So we go to the first example. Uh, if 10 can be written as 10 to the 1, the log form of this expression, later I'll tell you why, but the log form is I'm, my, my answer is 1. I haven't teach you how we get one. I haven't even teach you what's the meaning of log, but I don't care. 
Just know that when I got 10 to the 1, I'm focusing your attention to the idea of 1. That means you're figuring now, 1, 0. If I got 10 square, after I do the log transformation, later you'll learn how. The answer is 2. You see the, you see the pattern now. If I got 4 zeros, after I log form this guy, the result is 4. Negative also can. If I'm expressing 10 to the negative 2, I log form it the whole thing. I log it, the answer is negative 2, negative 7. So what does it mean? That means the answer that pop out after you log something. 1, 2, 4, negative 2, negative. It's, it feels familiar because just now we were precisely talking about those numbers of zeros. Right? Who is lost? Okay, who is not lost? Not lost, uh, okay, right? Still okay, right? So basically, what do you, why do we lock? You lock so that you place an emphasis on the number of zeros, okay? Let's just write this down, although it's, it's not the real definition. Uh. So why lock? Uh? So why lock? Okay, to emphasize on number of zeros. It can, it can be very big, that means 1 billion, billion, billion. 1 billion, billion, how many zeros? 1 billion, billion, billion got 27 zeros, right? Or it can be very small, 0 0.00005, you know? If you got 0 0.00005, the focus is the fact that we have how many zeros there. The 5 is not important anymore, right? So this is the very, the, this is the very principle of, 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 of log lab. So if you can see this, then this chapter will be less scary. Because you see, uh, if I show you this, huh? why I got big number, small number, why I got the LOG log, you know, is it a wood? You know, it's, it's, it's full of confusion. Uh. To me, when I was young, I don't think I learned it properly when I was young. Uh, so it's very stressful. Okay. So understand the meaning of log first. Understand the idea of log is so that I emphasize on the number of zeros, not the actual digit, first digit anymore, the number of zeros. So you need to know the language now. So you need to know how to read this. Okay. So second example. Uh, how do you read this? The log of a hundred to the base 10 is this is a language that unfortunately you have to get by you have to get by you have to understand the language so when i read i wrote this out how do i read this say again uh, i read the log the log of 100 to the base 10 is 2 this is the part of the language that i when as a student i hated uh, not Super important unless you are communicating, unless you are like me telling you. In exam, you just need to do two calculations, so not so bad. Okay, so we use the same idea for the larger one. You can, it's like a, it's a vice versa. La. So, the log, the log of 10,000 to the base of 10 is 4. Okay. Feels is there's a parallel one that's comparison. I want everybody to WhatsApp me. How would you read this in real life? How would you read this as a, as a sentence? You can read to me or you want to, sorry, don't read to me. Type it in your phone or you write it on your paper. If you are feeling confident, you can straight away write. It's not very difficult. Then you take a picture and send. I just need to make sure you all know the language. Okay, Faith, <laughs> you did <laughs> you did have a different question as I wanted, but it's okay. I wanted the last one, but it's okay, it's okay. You, you were correct. And no big deal, no big deal. 
Yeah. The log of 0, 0, 0, 0 to the base 10 is negative 7. Correct. Uh, is that? Well done. You got it correct. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Sorry, I think it's coming in. Okay, I cannot I cannot redo everybody is ahead of you already. I know I'm not, I'm not solding you, but I'm telling you this is affecting you. Okay. Now oh okay, y'all get the idea already. So now after we understand why we lock things are uh, now of course you need to know how we lock things. This is I invented this uh, so it looks a bit lame. Okay, this is what I invented uh, as a kid. Because I couldn't understand long, so I invented something that is very nice for me. How do you read the log thing? You see, ah, uh? I say small to the power of opposite equals big. Okay, how how do I use this? Yeah, uh? I go to this example again. Okay, small small means what you. Beside the log, you are supposed to put a tiny 10. That's the base 10. Uh. So what am I reading? I'm reading 10 to the power of opposite. What number is opposite? That means the other side. Uh, 4. 10 to the power of 4 is the big number. Can you see? Every time you see something in log form, uh, you just need to recite small to the opposite is big. You are quite safe already. I know that you might be a bit lost. Try your best. Okay? See? I say again. Uh, I use this example. Okay, here. This is small. You must see it's like it's like a smaller size, right? The 10, the base is always written smaller. So small to the opposite. 10 to the 2 equals 100. Small to the opposite is big. And of course, if you wrote it out, small is 10. Huh? I take this example. Huh? 10, which is small, to the opposite, which is 2. Does it equals 100? It does equal 100. So this is a convenient way to wrap your head around log form. Log form is hard to understand, but if every time you keep saying, this sounds a bit lame, but it, it works. Small to the opposite equals big, you keep saying it. Then you look at any log form. I look at this last one. Can you who can help me use the small to the opposite equals big to understand the last line? You can unmute and tell me. Maybe you can also. Small to the opposite, it's always like that one. Yo, um, sorry. Sorry. Ten to the minus seven is. Uh, yeah. So you see the pattern, and of course it's right here, lah. So who understands small to the opposite equals big? Must understand, uh. No, uh, no need to know why. It's just the design. It's just the layout. The the mathematicians design log. To present, I told you, man, the purpose is to present the item, the, the, the power. Then there, there's a format that they design it in. La. And then if you read it in the layman's term, you just need to memorize small to the opposite equals big. Who understand? Raise your hand. You just need to understand this is the format that they invented it in. It's just that like who say plus must do like that. There's no reason. La. right? Who say power must know? Five square. Who say power must write here? No reason. They invented it. We adopted that system. So this log system is just understood in the way that I just said. Log small to the opposite. There's no actual explanation, but it's more like you must get used to the language. Small to the opposite is big. This is important, huh? Okay. In your school, they will slowly give you a lot of exercises to get you through all the rules. For me, I will go a bit quick, lah. So let's zoom in to the definition. I know it looks a bit ugly already. Uh. This is the index form. This is the log form. The first thing you must get used to is to convert between index and log form. How do, you, how do I do that? I just memorize small to the opposite is big. Okay. In my in this uh, in the red box. Okay. What is my small? Somebody tell me my small. Why small? Mm -hmm. A, what is opposite? Y. What is big? X. 
So if you put them all together, how do you read it in index form? Index form is what we are more comfortable with. We, we have been used to index form for a while already. Right? So log form is new. Right? So looking at the red form, the red log form, what do I think of in my index form? I mean, the answer is there. Right? A to the Y equals X. And easy, right? Now, this is just definition. It's not a, rock, a law yet. Right? Now, there are two bases we can choose. We can choose a base 10 or we can choose a base E. In your school, they will teach you why there's such an E. I don't know waste time, so let your teacher teach you. But there are two ways of we can write this. Most commonly, we base 10. Like all my examples are base 10. You can see all here are base 10. And because base 10 is so common, when I need to write LOG base 10, I just shorten it to LG. Uh, LOG. LOG is LG. Yeah. Yeah, why don't y'all go to a calculator? Y'all go and type. Y'all go and type L O G uh, 100. La. What do you think you get when you press L O G 100? You lock 10. Ah, sorry, you lock 100. What do you think y'all get? Y'all can try. Hmm? Yeah, you know why 2 or not? Because got two zeros. No? Right, if you go L O G 1 million, eh? if you go L O G 1 million, what do you get? How come six? Six zero, ma. Right, so things will start to make sense after you think about it long enough. I know first day, all very lost, no problem, okay? But that's LOG, la. Okay, and uh, Now, you also sometimes calculate things based to base E. Y'all can go to calculator, click E. Who can click E and press enter? Tell me the answer. What is E? <laughs> Whatever. La. So this is, yeah, it's the, the answer is 2.7. Uh, usually I memorize 2.71. You don't need to memorize. Just know that E is another convenient, convenient base. For who? For the scientists. Some, somehow, a lot of things in nature, uh, they go to this number. I don't know why. It's like some golden ratio kind of weird stuff. Oh. Okay, so E is the common base. 10 is the common base. Our brains prefer 10. La, right? We always think about 10. But if you ever get E, it's also a common base in the scientific world. Yeah, it's Alan, Lon. This one is pronounced as Lon. Can you go and Okay, this one is pronounced Lon. Obviously, it's pronounced Lon. This one is pronounced Lon. I don't know how to spell it. It spells like, spell, spells like your, your, your front yard, like Lon. Those of you live landed, you all have a Lon. Can you see L-O-N? L-O-N. L and also can, whatever. La. Okay, the pronunciation la, is long. So every time you see LN, it is just logging something to the base of E. If you see LOG or LG, you are logging something to the base of 10. Only two ways. Huh? Later, later, later. Okay? Standard what? No, when you lock something, it's automatically base 10. Just now I asked you to lock a million. Yeah, so it's already you, assumed base 10. So you, uh, lock anything else. Yeah. Base what? 5, base 7, those yeah. Calculator can work. Uh, okay. Uh, look, look, ask, uh, can you base something else? You can, you can calculate out later, I'll teach you how. But uh, calculator cannot. Uh, okay. Let's see whether we have learned enough to do some questions. Uh. Oh, enough already. Okay. See, let me show you how to do this. Uh. This is LG. Oh, y'all can go to the question already. I won't expect y'all to get anything correct. I'm just showing you how it's how it done. This is log 10 to 1, right? Because as a beginner, y'all are still not used to what is LG. So go ahead and write down the full form of LG which is log base 10 1. Then what's the next step? You must use your brain, common sense. Y'all follow my marker. Huh? Okay. 10 to the power of what gets me one. Say again. Small to the opposite equals big one. That one will never change. So 10 to the what equals one. Common sense. You can even try your calculator. You can go 10 to negative one. See whether it's, it's one or not. Quite sure you're wrong. Who knows 10 to the what equals one? This one, no need calculator. If you know, you know. 
those online can, oh page type zero already. Luke also said zero. It's zero lah. It's zero. I mean, even if you didn't know, now you know. You go calculator, press 10 to the power of zero, you get one. So the answer is zero. Okay, this one. Same thing, if you fully understood my lesson so far, you can see the answer without working. Four to the what is 16. Right, four to the what? Guess back, small to the opposite is big, right? So if you know, you know. Uh, Luke said two. Do you all agree or not? Luke said two. Hey, they're ignoring you. Y'all can agree or disagree or say don't know. But say something. He then don't know, okay? At least you said something good. Somebody else? Xiang Hui also not sure. Faith also don't know. Kelly agrees. Okay lah. He's correct ma. Because what did I say? You memorize small to the opposite equals big. So you just need to verify. It's four square. Basically, you need to mentally check lah. Is 4 square equals 16? Yes or no? I mean, obviously yes. La. 4 times 4 is 16. Hello? Right? So 4 to the 2 is indeed 16. Uh, don't worry if you are struggling. Uh. It's a difficult concept. Uh. But let's try. Let's keep trying. 2 to the what is 16? Four. The Izen says four. Y'all can agree or disagree. Yes, ah. Uh. Can is it getting easier? Feels as after you keep memorizing, small to the opposite is big. Whenever you see lock la, there must be a lock there la. Then you should be quite fine already. This is correct. Right? 2 to the 4 is 16. Can you y'all can just verify the calculator? D is difficult. Right? Anyway, whatever I'm going through with you are, uh, it's not the real, it's not really the content yet. Uh, because later there will be formulas and laws that y'all can apply. I don't want y'all to depend on laws yet. I want you to understand law first. So I'm not giving y'all any laws yet. So later with laws, some questions become easier. This is a bit harder already. Four, basically your question is four to the power of what equals two. Uh. That's the question, right? Because same thing, uh, small, small to the opposite must be big, right? So the question you must ask yourself is four to the what equals two. Uh. So good, right? Duke said half uh, is correct. Uh. Hey, how come you miss the lesson still can answer? Uh? Uh, genius, uh. Are you okay with this? Yeah, y'all can try and error a bit. Anyway, as I said, for today's lesson, it's an intro to law. So I'm not teaching y'all any rules yet. So once you learn some rules, some can place you. Uh, you can use the formula and force the answer. But I think it's very it's lame. Uh. You keep forcing answer out. You don't learn what it's not, then you will forget very soon. Uh, everyone agree with Luke or not? Is D okay? Correct? Correct, right? Okay, who can do E? Uh, except Luke. No, I tell you what. I tell you what. You all do as much as you can. Until, until today, uh, until 4. We end at 4, right? Okay, so let's, let's do it today. You all can do as much as you can. Uh, until S, but like look at S. S looks impossible, man. So next week when I teach you some laws, you can use those laws to your advantage. But for now, just just play for fun. As I said, uh, whatever you do now won't be directly tested for O level. That means when you go test, they won't expect you to answer this kind of question using your brain. 
they expect you to use the laws and formulas to get the answer. But I still think it's more meaningful to understand the logic, okay? So, E to S, do whatever you can, totally okay to be wrong. Wrong, everything also can. But if you can get some answers at the bottom, if you can get some, I, I, can I figured it would be quite fun, it would be quite interesting. Like if you can get E, F, G, I think it would be very satisfying. Okay, give it a try. Y'all can discuss and then we use the toilet for a while. Uh, we'll talk more, we'll, we'll teach the real actual methods next week. Right? So much. Uh, we have less than 10 minutes. Uh. I can teach you all a few, but as I said, the method I'm teaching now is also not the real method next week. Uh. So if you all want to ask anything, I can, I can. If you are struggling and dying to know how to do, get some answer, I'll tell you. Uh. Anyone? I say again, uh, this whatever you are doing today is not the real exam technique. The real exam technique is a lot more mathematical, of just memorize the rules. But it is a that. Ah, yeah. Right. So then it's hard. Lah. But it's an answer too. Because <laughs> one third, right? One third square is one nine. Lah. So easy. <laughs> Sorry. You break your heart. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to compare the resource using the law of the. Are you going to do? Yeah, I am. Can you can convert? Okay. No. I show you how to convert. You can do like that. Yeah, can do like. No la, no la. In, in the next one, use this. Yeah. Just use immediate common sense. Like for J, quite interesting one. Like for guys, for J, if you understand the concept. The answer is very obvious. Right. I know I introduced Lawn a bit. You're not familiar with it, that's fine, but think about it. 
it's not that hard. Who, who, who can figure out J without looking at the answer? I mean, if you saw the answer, you also know the answer. I mean, it would make uh, perfect I, sense. I, I want to know after I got it, okay, that school, that's why. Hmm? I can't think of it, if I got the answer, oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you type calculator, you can, right? Those base 10, base, base 10, base E questions, you can use calculator and page it. But uh, those online, can you, can you understand how come I tell, I say like J is quite doable? Yo, okay, no? hey, a lot of silence there. Eh? Because lon is just log base E, man. Log H. H, okay, let me finish J first. Uh. So basically when I do this, the question is E, to the power of what gives me e square? Obviously, one, right? E to the what? Of course, e to the two la, Then give me e square. The answer is right there. Right? So this answer is two long. Uh, who wants to ask what? Sorry, Kizen asking. H. H. Uh, let's see H. Uh. Okay, H is a bit harder la. See, uh. So the question you ask yourself is one over nine to the power of what la, equals three. Right. So this feels like indices again. Fair enough. I mean, is, is that, that, that's, that's what's happening, right? Because we, the first thing we memorize is small to the opposite is big. Right? Is that like, okay with my first, first working? I got it, actually. Uh, then you, you slowly can use indices together. Really. Then I say one more time, next week, all of this will change. Y'all will redo all these questions, but with the real, real laws. And the laws are here. Right? I don't know to teach you because it's too much already. It's all of this. Which you will memorize fully. You will memorize fully and thoroughly for exams, but not now. Okay, so this is next week. But today, let's just introduce and get comfortable with the idea of law. We have three more minutes, four more minutes. If you have questions, ask for fun. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm actually curious about it. It's not really good for our exams. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. To my level, I also don't learn everything. I don't know. Can I help you? If you have questions, please ask now. If you have other things you want, you have been dying to find out, you also can ask. Okay. How do you do care? Same thing, la, same thing. See, uh, after you get used to it, it's all the same. It's one fifth to the power of what can get me one, two, five. Right? That's the uh, essence. I saw, I saw it as one out of third. Huh? I saw it as one out of third instead of one out of three. You saw it as one over what? Third. One third. Uh, three, oh. yeah. So sorry, is it the printing or your eyes? My, my eyes. Are... My yeah. eyes. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway. The rest who are silent, I'm assuming you are feeling okay. Yes, it's called, right? What thing? K, uh. is it 12? Like, no, 1 to 5. 1 to 5. Small to the opposite is big, man. Yeah. 1 to 5. Okay. Okay, this week no homework lah. Huh? Give you a break. Oh wow! I think two rooms are the thing that was going on. The calculation of it. Now what's the uh? Oh, uh, most things you ask, I probably won't know. I know as much as you kind of know in okay. terms of the symbols. I have no idea. You start asking, oh, no. please. Oh, it does this in this way. Because it doesn't like, it takes shape or entry, there's like double beast, but nothing shows up. I don't know, dude. Right. Anyway, I'm not giving your. Hey guys, I'm not giving you all the polynomial quest homework. Should I? Should I? 
Should do a bit. Uh. Should do a bit. Sorry, I changed my mind. Should do some point of yours. Okay, la. friendly, la. friendly. Let's give your friendly homework. Okay, la. sorry, a bit of homework. Because I rushed through polynomial, I don't want you to don't know anything. So the only way is to do homework. Page two. Homework is page two. There's an answer at the back, lah, so you can always just verify. It should be largely no problem. You can text me earlier or so. If fine, then I don't I won't waste time on polynomials and much. Log is way, way, way harder. Okay? Okay, lah. I'm gonna let you go. If nobody has questions. Hmm? I don't know, Greg. Look, I told you most of the symbols I also don't know. Yeah, most of the functions we also don't learn on the normal. Normally, we don't need to do. Okay, lah, uh, guys. If nothing, I'll see you all next week. Your homework, I have texted in the group already. It's just four questions or five. Lah. Only four. I can remember. Four or five. Lah. Okay? It's so that you all drill a bit. You all can look at the answer and figure out how it's done. Don't need to ask me anything. Okay? If you cannot, text me beforehand or I'll do the first 10 minutes to explain. Lah. But heavily next week, next week we'll learn all of the laws already. Lah. We'll learn all of this law, which means after next week, you should be able to do... Yeah. It's hard. Like. Y'all look, look at the screen. Stress, right? Stress, right? Yeah. Stress, right? I, I also stress. <laughs> when I see this, I also stress. Yeah. So, yeah, like, if you build your stock skills, y'all can eventually do all of this. Like. Okay? But do your homework, partial fractions. I'll see you Page two only, yeah. Homework. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.